Hey, what's up? Robert here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create snow in After Effects for your video projects. So we're going to create some snow and we're going to save it in an alpha channel and then show you how to incorporate it in your Sony Vegas project as well as in your Premiere Pro project. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and work with a new composition, uh, 1920 by 1080. HDTV 30 frames per second let's make the duration 10 seconds now you can make this duration any duration you need it to be so if you need it to be 10 minutes you can do that so 10 seconds click OK and here is our composition so we're gonna create a new solid layer new solid or control Y we're just gonna create a black solid we can name this snow and click OK alright so now that that's done we're gonna come over here type in CC particle open up CC particle world drag that over our snow here and then we're gonna open up the grid so we can turn off the grid we don't want to see that and then we can go straight into particle we want our particle type to be darken and faded sphere now there may be some other particles that you could pick from that may look more like snow but this time we're just gonna go with the sphere and we're going to adjust some things such as, let's see, the birth size. I'm going to actually go in a little farther so I can see what's going on with the particles. Uh, the birth size, I'm going to bring this down actually. Uh, let's see, to around 140. And the death, I'm going to bring this down as well to around 220, roughly. And then we're just going to simply change the mustard and ketchup colors to both white, the birth color and the death color, white, and then we're done with the particle. Now of course you can always go into the particles and adjust them as you need them. Uh, the birth size, you can increase that to make uh, the particles a little bigger. So now that we're done with that, we're going to go into the physics and we're going to change the animation from explosive to cone access and you'll see what this does, kind of turns into a cone instead of just being all explosive. I'm going to bring the velocity down to around half that size, so 0.50. Turn the gravity off, and then I'm going to bring down this extra angle to around 200. So we have that, and it just looks like some kind of shower is going on. What we need to do now is go into the producer. I'm going to adjust the Y position so that it's just up at the top, and that's where our particles are going to start from around negative 29 or negative 30. I'm also going to bring the radius of all the uh, X, Y, and Z way out. Probably one each. So one, one. Just like that. And let's take a look at how that's looking. Alright, so that's looking pretty good like snow. Let's preview that. And you can see it's moving around like snow. Now, if you want the snow to be blowing a lot faster, you can uh, increase the velocity. And if we preview that, you'll see that the snow is moving around a lot faster. I'm going to leave it at 0.50. And now that we have the snow here, you can see that the snow kind of fades in. And I want it just to start off right away. So we can start it right there so that it's just continuous and it doesn't fade in. You can have it fade in if you'd like or just fade it in in your video editor. So now that we have the snow ready I'm gonna go to composition make movie and here we have our render queue so I'm gonna go to the output module click on lossless I'm gonna change the format from AVI to QuickTime uh, the channels change this to RGB and alpha millions of colors and pre-multiplied. Click OK. Output 2, you can choose your output folder. I'm just going to leave it here. You can see I've already created one. I'll just overwrite that, save, yes, and render it. So now, while it's rendering, you can hum to the tune of oh, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Uh, I'm not going to do that, but it's, it's a suggestion. All right, that's finished. Now we can go into Vegas. So let me open up Vegas. And I'm actually going to open up a one of these lower thirds that I've created that you can get from the site at the link in the description below. 
back into Vegas. Let me get that lower third or background here. And here we have Santa. So let me go ahead and import this snow that we created in After Effects. Should be 10 seconds long. And you'll see that the snow is covering up Santa. So all we have to do is right click the snow clip, click properties, media, and let's change the alpha channel to pre-multiplied. Click OK. And now you can see the snow and you can see Santa. So let's preview that. And there you have some snow. Same thing in Premiere Pro. Usually should automatically detect the alpha channel. So if we import this in Premiere Pro, add that, and let's preview it. There we have the snow. So there you go, as simple as that, creating snow and After Effects for your projects. And of course, you know, you can always adjust the different settings in After Effects for the CC particle world, and even use something else like Trap Code Particular for the snow. Make it look however you need it to look. Have the, the wind come along and blow it around. You can even change this to twirl, and make it very twirly, just like that. So hopefully this helped you. You can probably make the snow look much better than you could in Vegas itself with After Effects. But if you don't have After Effects, there are some tutorials out there that will show you how to create snow in Sony Vegas by using the noise texture standard noise. Sort of the similar effect that I did to make it rain. You'll just make it snow. So there you have it. Hope this helped. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.